to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam and I am the owner of two Etsy shops. We have Jocelyn's Comfy Apparel and Malia's Stitches. Um, in today's video, we're going to embroider on a towel. Um, this is the first time I've ever embroidered on a towel, so I thought I'd take you along and um, let you see my experience, my first experience of doing this towel here. Um, so, I purchased this towel on Amazon. It's just a Galaxy towel. My girls are into Galaxy, so we decided to um, personalize this a little bit for them for their bathroom. So it says, in a galaxy full of stars, be a sun. I thought that was a cute saying we came up with. And um, I just wanted to take you guys along on my journey on doing this for the first time. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. All right, here we are back at the computer again in this video. Um, we are going to create a little saying to go on our towel. So I'm going to just open a new uh, page in Brilliant. Or yeah, this is in Brilliance. I'm going to click the text, and I want my little saying to be something like um, in a galaxy. You need to make sure I spell it right. Full of stars be, be the sun. So I will go check all of my spelling here. So you can paragraph this by hitting, hopefully you can see. If you hit this, um, double lined thing you can make it to where your text is not one big line and I probably want sun to be on its own Maybe let's make stars on its own. So in a galaxy full of stars be the sun. Set. And this is going on a towel so we don't want it to be too small but we don't want it to be too big either. So we're probably going to use the 7x7 seven seven Mighty Hoop. So let's get that Mighty Hoop size setting in there. Okay. And probably want to change the font to something a little prettier. kind of fun. Okay, um, this is going to be all centered, I believe. Centered, centered, everything's centered. If you, sorry, if you click center here, it's all going to be centered. Your words, your lettering, you can make it towards all to the left. You can make it towards all to the right, depending on where you're going to put it on the 
item you're embroidering. I think I'm going to put it in the center of the item at the bottom. Let me get the towel here. So this is what I'm embroidering on. It's just a Galaxy uh, printed towel. It's a hand towel for the bathroom. So um, I want to put the saying kind of in this area here just at the, sorry, you're real close, but at the bottom there. So I want it, the wording to be all center. Here, I'll show you this way, it might be better. So here's the towel. I want the writing to be right in here, right in the center, so right there. So I do want it to all be centered up. Okay, I'm going to go through and check all of my spelling and then we'll get the garment hoop. Okay, so I should add on here that um, if you do not want all of your text to be the same font, you will have to add the text in in separate boxes. So I'm going to put this off to the side over here and show you how to do that just in case. So say you wanted the first line to be in a galaxy uh, so you'll make sure you're in the one line mode so you can put that there and then your next box you'll say something like um, full of stars Enter, and then you can change the font of that to something else we're just doing this kind of randomly, so we'll just select a random font. And then for your next line, you could put, you know, the, the, and then change the font to something else. Again, we're just um, doing this for an example. Be the same. Not spell it right, Sam. And you would select whatever font you wanted, or right? Okay. And that one's really big, so let's make it a smaller size font. Okay. Okay. So ignore this over here. We're looking here. So you want to have um, different font for each line, that's how you would do that, and then you would select them all, maybe if it'll let me select them all, and to center them, you're going to click up here, and then click center, and it'll line them all up, so, and then of course you can change the color as well, you know, by clicking the color over here, clicking this, Clicking threads and searching through whatever color you want. So you can change the colors to whatever. Um, for my particular design, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just deleting these off of here because we don't want them really. For my design, I'm just going to use white. I think white would look best on this towel. So. We have all of this, the color we want, um, are all of it the same color, so when I go to put it on the machine, it'll all stitch out as one piece. So we're going to save this. I'm going to save it as a stitch file, and we're just going to put towel. And um, save. You're going to save it to whatever folder or your jump drive, however you um, have to upload it to your machine. I just save it to my hard drive on my computer. And I have to turn the machine on because I haven't got it on yet. So while that's coming on, we're going to go uh, hoop this garment or the towel. Okay. So uh, we are going to be using some tearaway stabilizer and this is a medium weight tearaway stabilizer. We're going to be using uh, 
the Mighty Hoop. This is the 7.25 Mighty Hoop. I'm going to be using that one. And so I make sure I cut a piece big enough to fit my Mighty Hoop. I'm using Cutaway because um, this is not something, this towel is not something people are going to wear. It's just something that is for decoration so if you know the rule of thumb with stabilizers if you wear it don't tear it so that's why with shirts we use cutaway but with other things you can use tear away so you can hoop this two different ways you can put your stabilizer inside the hoop and just hoop the stabilizer take your 505 spray spray it in there Fold your thing in half like this and then you would line up your fold here with the two notches center line press it down open it up and then your uh, item would be centered um, or you can uh, Go to your iron or heat press, press the line here, um, and then hoop it all in. Together. Like so, if you wanted to. And then open it up. poop it so it's all together like this. So I'm going to float it because for me it's easier to center it personally. For me it's easier to center it when it's floating. So I'm going to float it. So to do that again you're just going to hoop your stabilizer. Make sure your stabilizer is smooth. stabilizer. no bumps or ruffles or anything in there. I'm going to take my spray, spray the stabilizer, fold this in half. And I'm leaving like, this is probably two and a half inches here from the bottom of the, of the um, towel. down, open it up, now this towel is not very um, fluffy, it's not a big um, thick towel, so um, I am, I will use the water soluble over top of it just so that the stitching doesn't sink in. Um, but I don't think I need to use like a really thick font or a big boxy font for this type of towel because it's not so so super fluffy. But here we are stabilized or, or hooped and we'll go to the machine now. So here we are at the machine. Um, for this, I do want the writing, hopefully you can see, I do want the writing to go from top to bottom where the bottom of the writing is here at the end of the towel because this is how it will hang on the towel hanger. So I'm going to take this extra of the 
towel and on the Malcos there's this little nook here in the back and that is to hold all the extra excess um, fabric or material that you want out of the way so I'm just going to tuck that extra back in there make sure there is nothing other than what needs to be embroidered underneath the arm of or underneath the boot so I think that will be good sorry the I'm doing laundry too so that's what you're here timing my dryers timing okay, so there's that I'm going to take my water soluble and I'm just going to lay it right on top this is the brand I use. I get it at um, Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to cut a small piece of that. And I'm going to just lay it right in here. go back to my computer and upload the design into the Melco software. Okay, so I'm going to bring this into bring this design into the Melco software. So I have to find where I saved it. Here it is. And pull it in. Right. Need to make sure my hoop is set to the 7.25 and it is. Then I'm going to it's only one step. It tells you down here it's only one step, so I'm going to select what color I want it to be, and that's white. It's going to be very hard to see because of the white background, but it is white. Um, we have our stitch speed set at 900, and we have our auto tension on. And let's do a trace to see where it um, sets up on the machine or onto the garment. So here we go. We're going to come over here and we're going to hit trace and to do trace you're going to hit this uh, star with the dotted line and the hoop button here at the same time. There is a laser light that kind of shows you the outline. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I will do it again. it's going to be good at the bottom of the design is going to be right here and that's about three inches from the bottom of the three three and a half inches from the bottom of the towel I think that will be good so I think I'm just gonna hit go and let it stitch out and let me set you guys up somewhere so you can watch it stitch
I'm editing this video and I realized that uh, when I was recording and the parts that I thought I was recording, I wasn't. And then when I was went to turn off the recording, um, I was actually recording. So there's quite a bit missing in this video. Um, so at the end, I removed all the stabilizer from the front and the back, just tore it off. And then that's pretty much it. You can, um, if you want, you can pick out the stabilizer on the back between the letters. I didn't do that, but um, you're you're welcome to do that as well. And I'm sorry that I didn't record when I thought I was. And I will uh, do better next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave some pictures of the of the towel hanging up in the girls' bathroom. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!